Hi, how are you? My name is Elizabeth and I'm a librarian who really loves fashion as well as books. I am always looking for things that I can wear that are comfortable and cute as well as professional and don't look like, you know, just sort of standard, boring, stereotypical librarian wear. So I think I'm going to focus on that as well, probably as books and maybe food and whatever else comes my way. Um, in the background, you can see George. He's looking very skeptical about this whole thing, but that's okay. So today I'm going to focus on some pieces that I bought recently at Target. Um, luckily or unluckily for me, a Target Express just opened in my town. I can walk there from my home, so basically I'm doomed. <laughs> also, the weather here has been very strange. I am in New York. I am on Long Island. It's mid-October, almost late October, and it's 70 degrees today. But we all know that global warming doesn't exist, right? So that's also a consideration. Um, today I'm wearing one of my favorite LuLaRoe Cassie's with this floral pattern. Uh, this is a shirt. I think I got it from H&M. You'll see that I'm very into stripes right now when we get to the other pieces. And I'm wearing this really cute denim jacket, which is from the, um, the Target's A New Day collection. I've, I've written to Target. I've suggested that they can reconsider their logo for this brand. The pieces are amazing, but every time I watch a video and I hear someone call it End Away or Endy Way, it drives me crazy. The logo is very confusing looking. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so this jacket, it's a shrunken look, so it has a very modern, you know, very contemporary feel to it. The material's very stretchy and comfortable. It has a little embroidery here, I don't usually wear things to work that have sayings on them, except for when we have casual Friday and I'll wear a book theme shirt. I'm going to see some of that later. But it's cute. It, it says, hello sunshine. And I thought that the, the dark wash, the great fit, um, and the softness made up for that. And I really, I believe that you can wear denim to work if you do it right. You know? So today, I'm, you know, I'm wearing the the pencil skirt and this cute t-shirt because it's 70 degrees and the shrunken denim jacket over it with a pair of black wedges and I think that is a very cute totally appropriate outfit for work okay so what did I get from Target some of these pieces are from a new day some aren't um what shall I start with you know what I'm gonna start with the shoes why not let's start with the shoes okay because these come on come on <laughs> this is from the a new day line little leopard wedge booties these were you know i have to keep uh count on the prices because i know people are interested in that everything in the a new day line is under 50 dollars. everything i think these were maybe 35. They're super comfy. I'm not really expecting that they're going to last more than one or two seasons because they are um, made of velour. But they're very cute and they go with so much. I mean, animal prints are definitely a neutral. I could probably wear these with the outfit that I'm wearing today and it would look really good. I just decided to go with a black wedge. But I love them, and I got so many compliments on them that just even the first time I wore them. And then these are not, these are not a new day. These are Massimo. Wow. I didn't have anything adorable and edgy like this. They're, they lace up. They're also a booty with a thick sole. Um, maybe not quite as comfortable to walk in as the leopard booties, but adorable. These were on sale for $30. And again, they're Massimo. So, you know, Target is discontinuing this line. So if you want them, I would get them now. They, they have the, the lace up and they have the zipper, but this is how you get into the boot. There's a zipper on the side. 
So this is what's so funny. They, they open this Target Express, right? And I walk in and I'm telling you, the people at Target, they looked at all of my receipts and they put all the things that I love in this store. I'm telling you, I had just bought these a few days ago at a different Target. <laughs> and the, the shoe selection is small in the Target Express. These were there. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, I know they do it. I know they work their demographic magic. Okay, what else? You know, if I have this necklace here, yes, yes, okay. All right, I don't know how to edit anything yet either. This is my first video. Okay, so this is so beautiful. Okay, this was, I believe it was 16 or $17, and it's silver and rose gold, and it's a, it's a collar. So this is great with a V-neck or a button-down shirt. It's beautiful. So I'm not wearing it today as much as I love it because the... The look doesn't really go with what I'm wearing, um, but it's beautiful with a with a V-neck shirt, and I've worn it a couple of times so far. It hits kind of high up. Okay, I think George is uh, getting tired of this and getting ready to go. That's okay, George. Carry on. Okay, so now again, this was also in Target Express, and you'll see why I am doomed. This is just a T-shirt. Oh, George is crying now. He's such a baby. George, you can go have some water. Okay, so <laughs> this was in Target Express. I had to buy it and I wore it on Friday. I mean, come on, it's just a t-shirt. Oh, come on, Georgie. Okay, but so, so cute. Then, okay, this, I thought this was so meta <laughs> and adorable and I will also wear this on a Friday to work. We wear jeans and either our library's t-shirt or you know book or popular culture themed t-shirts so this one there he goes he's off to have some water look at this it's the golden girls and it says stay golden so you know for any librarian who loves the golden girls and the outsiders um i would say this is a wardrobe staple yeah and then because i am a child of the 80s Come on, best movie ever, right? Right? So this would, you know, just look adorable with a pair of jeans or a skirt or you know, whatever. And then because I'm a Disney freak and it was such a great price, ta-da! This will be great for my next Disney trip. Um, all of these shirts I just showed you, these are really Junior's shirts, so they run a little small. I recommend sizing up one. Um, at least <laughs> size of one at least then I'm such a stripes person and I've uh, lately I love stripes I love polka dots I love florals I don't know I'm like a magpie I just look for anything bright and cute so they have a few of these very cute bread and type tops which I've been buying a lot of lately this is from a new day it's a three-quarter sleeve it has the, the boat neck, the classic boat neck, but it has these little inserts, which is great because it means your bra does not show in this top. And this is a navy and white, very cute with white pants, um, khaki pants or skirt, or you can do the, the black and navy thing. Black and navy is very sophisticated. Then I had to get the, this is similar. It's a, it's a white, with black stripes. I tend to like white with black stripes. And it's the same thing. It has this great cover for your bra straps and a three quarter inch sleeve. The way things are going here in New York for the winter right now, this may be about as heavy as I get to get. And I just got some really nice cashmere sweaters. So I'm a little disappointed about that, but we'll see. Then if it ever does get cool here, I got another stripe top. This is navy with white stripes and it also you know it has that 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 boaters look on the top this i just found the other day in a new day um in target the idea is that they're going to roll out the the clothes even faster so <laughs> this is 
it's kind of like fast fashion on steroids and I know, I know fast fashion is terrible for the environment. I get it, but the pieces are really adorable and I, I try to buy things that I think I'm going to have at least for, you know, a while. And this, this goes with, you know, it goes with so many things. I can wear it to work and it's, it's not a heavy sweater. So again, because the climate seems to be changing so much, it's scarily, um, this is a really nice weight. You could also wear a button down shirt or a, or um, you know, like a just a plain shirt underneath it to keep you warm if you needed to. Then also in a new day, this really nice chambray tunic, which I know looks very wrinkled right now. Now, this two, okay, the new day sizing is weird. So, and so you're going to have to try things on. This jacket I got in a size smaller than I usually wear. The cardigans, which are now replacing the Morona cardigans, I need one size larger than I usually wear. This, because it's a tunic and it's kind of narrow, I really needed one size larger than my usual size. But they didn't have that. So I ended up getting um, an XXL and I figured, whatever, it's a tunic. This is something that I'm going to wear, you know, with leggings around the house or on a weekend, something like that. Or you could tuck it in, you know, to a skirt. And it, it, so I figured, why not? And it's very soft and comfortable, which I, which I love. I hate a scratchy shirt. Finally, in clothes, and I have one other thing to show you, too. Um, whoa! Trench coat. Come on. Oh, did I just get lipstick on it? Of course I did. I have to get my Tide to go now. Ugh. Okay. Tide to go is magic. Okay. So, and look, that demonstrates why I got this. Okay. So I really wanted a trench coat and I did get myself a nice trench coat that was pricier than this in black. And I was hemming and hawing and my mom said, you know, get the black. Don't get the khaki slash stone because it's going to get dirty. And then you're going to, you know, you're going to be annoyed. But this was only like $45, right? So it's not an expensive trench. It's a really inexpensive trench. You know, it, the, the lining is not removable. The hood is not removable. Those are things that you look for on an expensive, well-made trench. But it was really inexpensive. So, you know, like I think I probably just got my lipstick on it, but whatever. You know, it, it was $45. I'll get that out with Tide to go. Um, and, you know, I'll wear it for a while and enjoy it. And it it's really pretty. And it, it looks more expensive than it is. The one thing that some people don't like about this trench, which I don't mind at all, is um, it has buttons and it has a zipper. So, you know, if you don't want to cover up the buttons, just don't zipper it. Okay, and then finally, this was a total impulse buy, but it was on sale. This is Pixie by Petra. I hadn't bought anything from this brand before, but this was very cute. It's rose gold and it has a, an illuminator, a lip balm slash plumper. I don't really need a plumper for my lips, but whatever. And what I was most intrigued by, it has a blusher slash highlighter. I haven't tried a highlighter before and I wanted to, so I thought this was a good way to get into that. This was on clearance for $11. I believe Pixie is also in Cartwheel. I don't really understand how to use Cartwheel yet. If someone can explain that to me, that would be great. <laughs> so, But I figured for $11, even just to try a highlighter, which can often be way more than that, say in Sephora, was worth it. So I'll let you know what I think when I try this on. Okay, so that's all I've got for you now. Let me know what you thought. Should I do more of these? Should I just give it up? <laughs> but thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.